Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Shaded Ramadan series of Beautiful Patience, which is extracting the lessons derived from Surah Yusuf alayhi The next lesson is the reality of jealousy. And with lows and struggles, there will always come highs and successes. It is natural that a person will experience some good days, and it is natural that a person will experience some bad days. While some days are good, other days might not be so good. And this is the fact confirmed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran when he says, we deal out such days among people in turn, meaning that human beings will experience the varying conditions of life throughout the years and not every day will be the same. Subhanallah, this life is a test and it puts through the test our faith, our character, our gratitude, our truthfulness, and our trustworthiness. And it's all put to the test through different trials that we experience, whether it's trials of ease, trials of hardships, listening to the obligations, or staying away from the prohibitions. Yet, though a person usually feels happiness in times of success, there is a danger that lurks from others, which often manifests itself as jealousy or envy of some sort. And subhanAllah, we all want to be successful, but sometimes it's very dangerous that when we experience such success, there's people lurking around us that are not so happy for us. Prophet Ya'qub quickly realized this through the child experience that he had with Yusuf and his brothers. And this could potentially be diminished by the envy of his brothers who were already jealous of Yusuf and they were so close to him, so they would be able to affect him. And it's for this reason that he commands Yusuf and he says to his son, O oh my dear son, tell your brothers nothing of this dream, and they may, or they may plan and plot to harm you. Undoubtedly, shaitan is man's sworn enemy. Now what you drive one's own blood to plot against them, and potentially cause harm to someone. But that is hasad, that is jealousy. Jealousy is a disease of the heart and it encourages people to, to perform things that will destruct and destroy somebody. And our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he warned us of jealousy, where he said that beware of jealousy for it eats away at our good deeds just as fire consumes wood. I want you to actually imagine this scene that when you are sitting next time in a bonfire and you see wood being burnt up and eaten by the fire, you need to remember that's what jealousy does to our good deeds. Really quickly it takes away our good deeds. So yes, we could be people that stand and bow and pray to Allah. We can be people that fast and give in charity. And we can do a whole bunch of good things, but jealousy is one that will eat up all those good deeds very quickly. Jealousy is often defined as one's desire for God to remove someone else's blessing. Now that's jealousy. That's why it's so corrupt that not only do you want what that person has or attained, you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strip them from it. And that is jealousy. And that's the ugliness of the sickness. Either they are out of poor spite or because of their greed to have the same blessing themselves. I remember once, and this is, was an awkward question, I was washing my car at a car wash. And this one random man came to me and he just asked me, if you were to change anything in the world, what would you, what would you change? And I was like, wow, this is profound. But I don't know what made me say, I said, I wish I could change the greed, greed in the hearts of people, because it is in fact greed that leads to jealousy and that leads to destruction of all those that are around you. So it is a negative trait within human beings that exposes the state of the heart. It is definitely a sickness of the heart and it exposes the ugliness aspect of the heart. And the brothers of Yusuf were willing to go the extreme route of even hurting their brother, killing their brother, just so they can strip 
their brother from that love and think that he can earn they can earn more of their father's love by doing so and this teaches us that we do not always have to broadcast our successes we shouldn't always feel that we have to inform everyone about our successes or our blessings because there is a risk of falling due to someone watching you and desiring what you have and this is something that is very common nowadays where everybody posts everything on social media as they are happy they share the happiness with the world but we don't know exactly who's listening and who's watching who wishing good for us and who's wishing bad for us and at the same time we can share it with those though that we love and those that we trust and those who have good intentions for us they actually have good intentions for us and we feel that with people and we should also be in constant habit of seeking protection from in Allah from such people we should never think that this is not a reality it is a fact hasad is real envy is real jealousy is real a uh, black magic is real and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us how to protect ourselves where in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمِن شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ In Surah Al-Falaq, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says And I seek refuge from the harm of the envier when they envy The harm of the envier when they envy because it is truly harmful Now as believers, we should be happy to see our brothers and sisters being happy Prospering, being successful we should see somebody that's going through a good time and we should pray for them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts blessing in them and continues their success and their happiness whether we have any relationship with them or not that is a Muslim to the ummah we are one body when one part aches the entire body aches and one feels success and is blessed then we should all take pride and joy in that success so know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already decreed what is good for us. Therefore, we are not missing out on any portion of our destiny if someone else is enjoying theirs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already decreed for us what we're supposed to have. And if you're meant to have something, you will have it no matter what. And if you're meant not to have something, no matter how hard you try, you will not attain it. So subhanAllah, having that trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is super important. And we should in fact pray for them while praying for ourselves if we see that we like something that they have. If you do see something that someone else possesses and you are uh, attracted to it or want it or desire it, you should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them in it and to bless you as he blessed them with it. So this way, you're seeing the khair and you're asking for the barakat, but you're asking that same Lord that made it possible for them, possible for you. So next time we have ill feelings when hearing about someone else's successes, we need to check ourselves because all of us are victims of this jealousy. Some have it more than others, but the more you tame it, the more you will be able to handle it and remove it from your heart. If this feeling of envy is not remedied in time, there is a danger in this disease spreading across the hearts and we do not want our hearts to be filled with this disease. So if at any point we do experience symptoms of jealousy in our hearts, we definitely have to do what's necessary to treat this illness in our heart because it's not a good quality to have and we need to seek forgiveness from Allah and remember Allah often in order for us to remove these sicknesses from our heart. Now what is really worth envying is a person's connection to their faith. There are a couple times where it's narrated that jealousy, a healthy form of jealousy, can be portrayed when it comes to our connection with Allah, not the materialistic things of the dunya. So we are taught that envy is justified only in two cases. When a person has been given knowledge of the Qur'an, they memorize the Qur'an, they know the Qur'an, they recite the Qur'an, they implement the Qur'an. This is something to be jealous of when it comes to seeing someone better or greater than you in it. And they are amongst those who, probably, who live with the Qur'an throughout the day and throughout the night. 
and when one is blessed with wealth. So these are two that are highlighted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And why the one that's blessed with wealth? Not just any wealthy person. We are talking about a wealthy person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed with wealth and they actually spend it in the way that's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they give with this in mind. So you're looking at a person who has that connection, that correlation with Allah, has a strong relationship with the Quran and makes it its way of life throughout the day and throughout the night. And you have those that are blessed with wealth, which is something that is a unique blessing. But not only do they use it on themselves and what they need and what they want, they make sure to invest it in their akhirah, utilizing it in a way that's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I want to tell you that these are the two common ways of being jealous of someone but I don't want to say jealous because like I mentioned before jealousy means that you want this blessing to leave them and be given to you. When we see people that are conscious and connected with Allah do we want to hurt that? No, but we may desire it so we pray for it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them in it and increase them in it and as he gave it to them, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give it to us. And the same thing with the wealthy that utilize their wealth in a way that's pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next time we have ill feelings when hearing about someone else's successes, we should really check ourselves because we have to check ourselves. This is an internal feeling that gets rooted by the heart that comes through the mind. And if you don't tame it, eventually comes out in words and actions. So if this feeling of envy is not remedied in time, this is a dangerous, a dangerous disease to have and it spreads across the hearts. And shaitan is always lurking in such situations. This is actually what he loves. This is how you control and win people over by putting that separation and dividing the people and making people kind of hate khair for each other, goodness for each other. So like the brothers of Yusuf salam, there is a high probability that we too can be made to turn against those who are the closest to us because of the whispers of shaitan. And this is all part of shaitan's many plots and plans and strategies employed to lead us astray from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, we cannot, under any circumstance, allow this to happen. So, if you ever find that jealousy is lurking into your heart and controlling your mind and the way that you think, please stop it in its tracks. Seek refuge in Allah from shaitan. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you that purity of the heart and cleanse your heart from this disease called jealousy. Please stay tuned and continue to follow Shaded on the Day of Judgment for more lessons derived from the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. Jazakumullah kul khair and thank you for your time and I hope that you have a blessed day.